I'm sorry, with, with these, these lights in my eyes, I can't fully see. Smile. That's Firebase 15. Take one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your questions about Firebase. I'm Lawrence Moroni, a developer advocate here at Google, and we couldn't think about any interesting facts about me, so we're just going to get straight onto the show. First of all, before we get to your questions, I just want an announcement to make, and that's we have this upcoming summit in Berlin called the Firebase Summit on November 7th. Gonna have lots of great stuff there, lots of great announcements. Watch this link for more details. This just in a question. Our first question is from Jason on Stack Overflow. It's a really good one. And the question is, what's the difference between Firebase Cloud Messaging and Google Cloud Messaging? Well, here's the answer. Firebase Cloud Messaging is really the new version of Google Cloud Messaging. It's actually inherited all of the infrastructure from Google Cloud Messaging. It inherited a lot of the APIs and a lot of the features. And what we've been doing is we're moving forward with Firebase Cloud Messaging. So we've provided this handy dandy guide that will allow you to migrate any existing Google Cloud Messaging apps over to Firebase Cloud Messaging. There's a lot of great stuff in Firebase Cloud Messaging. I'm really looking forward to what you're going to build with Firebase Cloud Messaging and of course, Firebase notifications. So thanks for that great question. So let's take a look at the the next question. So on the Ask Firebase hashtag on Twitter, folks like Uli Koenig and Nino Ross Rodriguez have asked this really interesting question. When will we be able to do FCM or FN on the web with JavaScript libraries? Well, don't tell them I told you, but it's coming real soon. Keep your eye on this channel. Great question. And for the next question, Gustavo Bazan on Twitter has asked the question, is there any way to do an A-B test with notifications? Well, that's a really great question. And the answer is yes and no. My recommendation to do A-B testing with Firebase is not to use notifications to do it, but to use remote config to do it. Now, remote config is a technology in Firebase that allows you to store variables on the server side. And the contents of these variables can be driven off of analytics, or you can just change them manually. And the neat thing about this is that if you're having data stored server side in these variables, then you can use them to change the behavior of your application on the client side and use this to do a-B testing. It's a perfect technology for that. Take a look at it. It's really cool. And there's some details of the links here. And thanks for the great question, Gustavo. Next question. Gary on Twitter has asked, is it possible to integrate FCM with AWS? And you know, it's a really great question. And how I would typically do FCM type applications and what I recommend everybody does is you really need to build an app server for FCM. You can build an app server in any technology that you like. I personally like to build my app servers in PHP and there's no reason why you couldn't run these app servers on AWS yourself. So in that way, you could integrate FCM with AWS by running your app server on there. And what your app server does generally is it collects registration IDs from your client applications. And then based on how you want to do messaging between your clients, it does a post ID just use a curl to do a post to the FCM APIs, and then the messages will get dispatched by FCM to your clients on your behalf. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do, and it's really neat that it can run on just about any web server. And if you want to learn more about how to build an app server for FCM, just take a look at the documentation here. So thanks for the great question, Gary, and I look forward to seeing what you build with FCM. Oh, this is an interesting one. Next question. Ward Berkman's on Twitter has asked this question. Does FCM work on all browsers, or does it only work on Chrome? Well, like the earlier answer, keep watching. We've got some great news coming very, very soon for you. Thanks for the question, Ward. So a question that we've had from lots and lots of people is, how do I do device-to-device -device notifications using Firebase Cloud Messaging? Well, there are a number of ways you can do this, but the best way I believe is to build an application server to use FCM on your behalf. And the idea is that your application can then get a registration ID from Firebase. It will post this to your application server. So your application server knows the Firebase registration IDs, the messaging registration IDs for all of your client applications that are connecting to it. And then if you want to send a message from device A to device B, you would send a message to your server saying, please send this message to this registration ID, and then your application server would post to the FCM APIs and would just post to say, send this message to this device. And you'd end up having the effect of sending a message from device A to device B. Firebase Cloud Messaging does support upstream messages, so you can do this type of thing. Take a look at it. We've got some great documentation on this here. And if you have any follow-up questions or any further questions about this, we'd love to address them in a future show. So thanks for all these wonderful questions. And if you have any more, don't forget to reach out on social media using the Ask Firebase 
this hashtag. And I've put a whole bunch of links in the description below for some of the stuff that we spoke about in this show. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we've got new content coming on the channel all the time. Thanks again. Thank <laughs> you.